Okay, lovebugs, let's get started. Now, I did miss a clip for the video, but I'm going to walk you through the section. All I did was get my bling wrap from the Dollar Tree store and my bling wrap crystal bling gems from Walmart. I placed the bling wrap around the glass and five strips going up and down. Then I cut little strips of the bling wrap and place them on the glass as well as the diamond wrap on the glass to fill in all the open sections until it was nicely closed and it was looking all crystally and blinged out and perfect so that is what I'm doing right here I have no idea what happened to that clip that clip is somewhere where I don't know I don't know if I accidentally deleted the clip but your girl is going to walk you through it step by step by step and we are going to get this thing right okay but whatever you do just make sure that you use your bling wrap from Walmart and your Chris and your diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree and fill in all the open spaces until this nicely closed all right and until it looks like a that basically like that that's what you're trying to achieve here now I'm going to go in with my Claire stones also from the Dollar Tree store all right and I'm going to be using my quick grip glue as well as my hot glue gun and attach it to the top portion around the candle stand holder now you want when you place it on you want to put the gem up first then you put the second gem down so you're doing one up one down one up one down until you complete the circle one up one down so we don't want it to be equal in one line you want it to be in formation one up one down Now, no, you could also use your hot glue gun, but if you use your hot glue gun only, it might fall off eventually. We don't want that to happen. Just to be on the safer end, use you could use your, your E6000 and do it along with your hot glue gun just to make sure that it stays in place. And I did go in and add some of the clear gems to the bottom of the vase until everything was nice and sitting close together to match the top part of our glass now we are going to be blinging out that portion of the glass as well so all you have to do here is get your hot glue gun only attach the bling wrap to it and slowly go around in a circular motion until the glass stand is covered and there is no glass peeking through the bling wrap you want to do it nice and tight so it sits close to the glass as perfect as you could get it And of course you could use any glue that you like I really do like to use um, the Gorilla glue because it's a very strong it really holds and binds things together I do not like the Walmart brand because it really doesn't work for me but then go ahead with whatever you like now when you get to the bottom portion of the glass you want to make sure that you secure it very well that way it doesn't come loose later on so just go ahead and put enough glue on the bottom cut your bling wrap and seal the bottom portion of the glass right there and that's how it's supposed to look nice and tight without anything peeking through so okay now I'm going in with my crystal ball and the crystal balls at the Dollar Tree you'll only find it during Christmas time so when I find it I always stock up on a lot of it for my prior project during the year I'm going to use um, one crystal crystal um, to it you'll see that later on and this is just a ring that I have at home I have tons of these rings at home and all I'm going to do is remove the back portion of the ring 
and attach it to the glass now what you want to do first here is cut the strings off from your crystal ball for sure and now the ring you could always go to your um beauty supply store near you and they have all kinds of ring there just go ahead and buy them for your bling for your, your projects now on your glass you want to make sure that you find that section that you bind first when you start it to the project you are going to use that as your guide to put your bling on so what we are going to use to put your bling on to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere you want to get your either your e6000 i'm using here my quick grip glue and i am going to be using my hot glue gun to make sure that once i put it on there it sits on place and it does not move just like that Now, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, be sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notifications that you will always be reminded whenever your girl upload any kind of video right here. It could be random videos, but you always know when I upload a video. Okay, so that is sitting pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. And if it's not sitting the way you want it, just go ahead and add some more hot glue gun to it like I'm doing here. Now that one single gem that I have there, that crystal gem, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick it in the middle so that it hides any imperfections that I have going on right there. Right in the middle. And that is what that looks like thus far. Now we are going to attach the ring to it. And again, you could go to your beauty supply store. They have all kinds of rings on sale for only a dollar, all kinds of blings. And you'll be surprised to know what those rings could do. Projects galore, honey, I'll be stocking up. So I go ahead and I place that on using my quick glint, my quick drying glue and my hot glue gun to put it into place just to make sure that this thing doesn't go anywhere all right now that is looking oh so good oh so good I'm really impressed may I feel it may I feel it now we're gonna bling out the bottom part of the vase right not the vase but we're gonna bling out the bottom part of our candle stand holder what I'm going to do to bling it out, I'm going to use some of that bling from Walmart and some of that uh, diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree and I just cut them into strips just like just like I'm doing here. Into little strips, just enough to fit the size of the, the, the glass, right? Then I went ahead and glued it on with my hot glue gun and I did use a total of about seven strips to the bottom portion of the candle stand holder. Okay, then after I got done with that, I went in and I added some of that uh, bling from Walmart. Just kind of put it on there and then I went in with my clear gems from the Dollar Tree and placed it all around the bottom portion of my candle scent holder just to make sure everything came together and it had a little cluttered feel to it but still nice and cute and pretty cluttered right the cluttered the more cluttered it looks on the bottom is the better it's going to to be because everything is nice and clear and crystal looking and all blinged out in that silver and see that is what i'm talking about right there it all comes together when you get done beautiful 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 and honey 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 this is your finish look okay your girl has done it all and i did use three different colors of the ring that i had on board and again you could find these ring and different rings inside of your local beauty supply store them have all kind of ring in there 
and you can use it to make all kind of project only a dollar right now this thing came out also oh, good also oh, beautiful also oh, gorgeous also oh, lovely amazing triple centerpiece for your entryway for your dining table any little places that you want to decor in the corner of your house for an event birthday party wedding celebration whatever it is that you want to bling this is the one that you need to go for it is amazing fabulous beautiful piece and it's eye-catching and honey everybody is going to fall in love with this piece now be sure however you are telling a friend to tell a friend okay spread the love thumbs up the video comment down below and let me know if you in fact love this thing and if you're going to try it go ahead and try take pictures and let me see them later on right send them on Instagram now the link for my channel how to cook will be down below subscribe 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 and yeah I see the love I love you guys appreciate you guys thank you for loving me the way you do and yeah I will see you in my next one talk to you later bye